All right, I took Joel along with me on a recent video, and a couple of viewers said, you ought to let Joel shoot his own episode of Marshman Mass on. I thought, you know what? That's a good idea. So today is that day. There's Joel. We're driving to the river near our house. Now it's nice enough to get up early with him to come help him launch the boat. But from that point on, he's on his own. He'll have all my cameras, all his fishing gear, some of my tackle, most of his tackle. And he's gone out to see what he can find in a post cold front environment. We had a really significant cold front come through last night. Significant for us. Temperatures are in the 40s right now. Hard northwest wind. So he'll have his work cut out for him. Not exactly prime fishing conditions, but a lot of times right after those fronts pass, the fishing can actually be pretty good. So wish the boy luck. I will. Good luck, Joel. Thanks. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. All right, well, good morning. As my dad mentioned, we have got some extremely challenging conditions today. Just had a hard cold front come through last night. The good thing working in our favor though, is that we've got, the pressure is still low. So it's not that high bluebird sky that a lot of bass fishermen don't like. So because of that, I think we've get, definitely got a chance to catch some fish today. And I'm really excited to see what we do. I'm about to run to our first spot. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens. All right, I'm about to drop the trolling motor at our first stop of the day. Water looks pretty good in here. Oh yeah, definitely fishable enough. I actually don't like it too clear, um, so this is about perfect. All right, so I tied on four baits last night. I've got a spinner bait, a crank bait, a jig, and a Texas rig. So I think I'm gonna start off with the jig. This water is definitely not as clear as I thought it was, so that's gonna uh, definitely play into consideration. Uh, maybe trying to move a different air to a different area. If we try and find some better water, it's, I don't mind it dirty, but this, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty off. I don't know if you can tell, but that current is coming right out of that little cut right there. And that's definitely a good sign. It seems like the tide's falling down here and uh, that'll definitely help us. All right, so this jig I'm throwing, this is a 3 8 ounce cross size Z-Man jig. Well, their power finesse version. And I've got a matrix crawl trailer on the back of it. And this is, this is a deadly combination for the winter. This is a really, really good bait. All right, spot number one was a bust. So we're going to spot number two. All right, pulling up to spot number two. This is a little bit different than when we were just fishing. We're gonna be fishing more of a canal off of the main river here. I'm still sticking with that jig. Jig again, this is one of my favorite wintertime baits. And this also catches some really nice fish. So hopefully we got a couple that are willing to bite in the midst of this cool front that we're in, or cold front, I should say. One encouraging thing, the water seems to be a tad bit better over here. And I'm sure it's gonna get a little bit better once we get into the back of this little cut here. I want you all to myself. We don't need anyone else. I'm not gonna just do the talking. Ooh, I got some good feeling cover down there. Let's try it again. All right, spot number two was also a fail. So if spot number two doesn't work, you get a spot number three. Look at that dude there's deer oh my goodness look at the deer y'all saw that <laughs> that was awesome definitely don't see that every day wow we just pulled up to spot number three we spooked a bunch of deer coming in here that was crazy wow it's a cold morning the deer are probably really active that is, that's insane. I cannot believe that. I was just getting the camera set up, dropping the trolling motor and, oh, there's another one. There's another deer. There's another deer. Oh, it's a doe. He's coming right, I don't know if y'all can see that. There's a doe coming right through the woods. Y'all probably can't, but wow. Jeez, I think they were all bedded up. 
And then my boat came in here and spooked them all. That was crazy. Yeah, he's still going through the woods. I've seen a few deer on this river, but I've never seen that many. I think it was four or five of them coming through there. All right, well, back to fishing. We're on the spot number three. Oh, I thought I might have one. Wow. Now, I'm certainly not a deer hunter. I used to love deer hunting, but that's not really my thing anymore. I'm more into fishing, but it's still awesome seeing deer, especially where you don't expect to see them on a place like this. It's just, it's pretty, uh, pretty much a rarity and uh, it's pretty cool to see them out here. Oh. Damn, I thought I had one. That's classic right there. Just a little cypress tree in the middle of the river. It sticks out a little further than everything else. And if you hit enough of those, by the end of the day, or eventually, you're going to get some bites. And I'm just skipping that jig right under the trees and right into those overhanging limbs. Skipping it right in there, trying to get one to bite. One thing I like about this jig over a Texas rig this time of year and really all times of year is you can skip it. A Texas rig is a little bit harder to skip. Oh, is that a fish? Oh no, I just, I just, there he is. There he is. Come on, get in the boat. Yes. All right. That's what I'm talking about right there, baby. <laughs> I had my drag was not even set and I had kind of the double set hook set on that fish but man look at this look at that that is a nice quality bass right there look at that very beautiful fish nice fish on that black and blue jig right there hook set right in the top of the mouth that where that way he's not going to get off look at this i mean that is awesome that is a really nice chifunk to bass right there and one of my favorite ways to catch them which is on this jig nice way to start the morning right there that is awesome all right off he goes All right, man, that was a pretty tough morning of fishing, but I gotta tell you, it was still a blast. Every fish you catch on that river is so rewarding. It's such a challenging fishery, and it was a fantastic way to spend my day off of work and school. Well, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh or here in the shed, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mass on.